The federal government as part of the uh, many intervention programs to reduce the burden of increase in pump price of petrol on a masses following subsidy removal provided 100 uh, uh, billion naira, uh, uh, part of uh, 500 billion uh, naira palliative budget to purchase 5,500 CNG or uh, uh, compressed natural gas vehicles, 100 electric electric uh, buses and over 20,000 CNG conversion kits. Alongside spurring the development of CNG refilling stations and electric uh, uh, charging stations. After months of detailed uh, planning and uh, background work, uh, the committee driving the initiative is set to deliver on President Tinibu's vision and promise. The Finance Minister and Coordinator Minister of the Economy, Wale Edun, also recently visited one of the indigenous uh, electric vehicle manufacturing plants in Lagos to witness the SKD uh, assembling of the CNG vehicles and electric uh, vehicles while also uh, test driving them. He confirmed that uh, though the presidential CNG initiative has taken time to actualize, the benefits will soon be available to Nigerians. It's two critical um, um, aims are being achieved and what is important is that I've come to see what is happening with the CNG initiative where are the buses as Nigerians are asking and I've come I've seen for myself I've driven them I've tested them and I've seen them being assembled and of course in no in the very near future they'll begin to be rolled out and the benefit will be uh, available to all Nigerians well, we have joining us via Zoom from Lagos, the Chief Executive Officer of uh, Jet Moto Company, uh, Derek Ewe uh, Lukwa, to shed light on the capacity of Nigeria's automotive industry to meet the growing demand for environmentally friendly uh, vehicles, as well as deliver on the uh, federal government CNG vehicles initiative. You're welcome to Business Experts. Uh, Mr. Derek, it seems like uh, there's an issue with your audio there. Can you unmute your audio there? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, well, Nigerians are eager, just like uh, what the uh, uh, finance minister said. Nigerians are eager. When, when are we going to see the uh, uh, vehicles on the street? Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. I'm eager to see uh, those vehicles on the street. Uh, how soon are we going to see these vehicles? Considering the fact that uh, I think we're on a countdown to uh, Mr. President's uh, uh, one year in office. Judge, yeah, as you know, is uh, one of the uh, vendors on record to uh, provide some of these uh, buses to the uh, federal government on behalf of the uh, federal minister of finance so we're, we're under uh, obligation to fulfill uh, our contract uh, terms for this and we're pushing to make sure these uh, buses are available to the federal government uh, as soon as possible I believe we should start uh, delivery of these buses in the next uh, week or so. Okay, talk, talk, to, to, talk, talk to us about uh, safety and standards of these uh, uh, vehicles. Uh, CNG as a means of uh, fueling the automotive industry is not a new technology. These technologies have been uh, proven and tested over time and uh, uh, Jet, as a tech-focused company, uh, it, uh, with safety uh, as top priority, are following industry standards to make sure that these uh, buses uh, meet the uh, safety uh, requirements uh, as stipulated. Uh, CNG, if you will, is actually safer than uh, petrol, or diesel as a uh, means of fuel. I say that because of the nature of CNG. CNG is natural gas 
comprise to about less than 1% of its uh, volume in the standard uh, atmospheric uh, pressure. And these are stored anywhere between the pressure of about 25 uh, uh, megapascals. So, uh, so uh, it's in its nature, I know most people think about explosion because it's gas and most people think about fires, but these typically don't occur with uh, CNG when they are stored properly and they are contained in the kind of cylinders that we install in these buses. So safety is, is not an issue, let's put it that way, when it comes to a CNG. Okay. Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about, uh, uh, you know, emphasis on how it will affect the uh, cost of transportation for uh, people from one place to the other. But what I would like to know is, does it extend to uh, vehicles that carry goods as well? Because uh, when you look at and do the mathematics, you discover that uh, when it extends to uh, vehicles that carry goods from one place to the other, it has much more multiply effect. I mean, multiply uh, impact in terms of uh, 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 cost and benefits. Uh, I, I agree. Uh we're, we're focus, that's why we're focusing mainly on uh, these vehicles for now for uh, mass transit. So when at the end of the day, when you do the benefit analysis, you will find out that uh, CNG is actually a much more cheaper option uh, of moving people from A to B, as well as moving goods from uh, one point to the other. So uh, what CNG is about maybe a quarter or dead of the cost of our traditional liquid fuel, petrol or diesel, if you will. And no time you will begin to see the uh, uh, cost benefits or the economic benefits for running the CNG uh, fuel or CNG engines. Mind you, these, these are by fuel engines. So it's easy to uh, make the comparison over time on the amount you have spent on CNG in comparison to the amount you have spent on your liquid uh, uh, fuel. Okay, uh, I understand that about uh, 100 conversion workshops and 60 uh, refilling sites spread across 18 states uh, before the end of 2024, which uh, your company is central to this implementation. Uh, my, my, my question here is, why, why is it 18 states? Why, why doesn't it extend to the 36 states of federation? Uh, <clears throat> I will I will defer that to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the feds and the uh, the PCNG committee. Actually, JET is focused on providing mostly the vehicles. I understand the feds are doing uh, their best to make sure the infrastructure is in place across. Uh, uh, the different states. So the rationale, the rationale on spreading out these infrastructures and hiring other vendors to provide them, it will be uh, best uh, explained by uh, by the feds who are directly involved with this. I, I, I wish I wish we had the opportunity to provide some of these infrastructure that maybe I can speak. To it's about uh, uh, a production of parts and maintenance. How much of local content uh, uh, do we have in all this? I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, Jen uh, is trying to position itself as uh, indigenous, purely indigenous company, true and true. We, 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 we focus on hiring local talents. We focus on employing uh, local components into our uh, manufacturing or assembly process. And for now, we, we struggle with getting uh, the inputs we need from local uh, content or local component parts uh, manufacturers. And we hope that will change in the uh, near future because we would like to incorporate these uh, local components into our uh, assembly process. Uh, for now, I'll place our local content 
between 15 and 20 percent into these uh, SKD uh, assembly units. And we, we, we hope these changes uh, uh, pretty soon. We're looking and leaning on local content manufacturers. We would like to incorporate their parts into our, uh, our production process. As long as these components meet safety standards and the quality standards that we expect in these vehicles. Much of an uh, impact in terms of job creation are we talking about uh, since we are talking about local content and how sustainable is this uh, particular initiative? Oh no, this will be sustainable in the long run. Uh, uh, Nigeria actually has more gas deposits than they do food oil deposits. So uh, with the right government policies around uh, CNG uh, implementation, and with the right uh, public and private sector uh, investments, uh, this will this will go a long way. And with respect to uh, local uh, uh, content in terms of uh, job creation, like I mentioned, uh, Jet is true and true a local and indigenous company, and we also try to showcase that in our uh, labor force. 99% of our labor force are local uh, talents. And we we plan to uh, uh, ramp up from SKD assembly to CKD uh, assembly process in the nearest future. And this will add significant uh, workforce, local workforce, if you will, to the uh, assembly process as well. Thank you very much, uh, Derek uh, uh, It's been a pleasure talking to you. And we look forward to talking to you after, maybe by the time we begin to see uh, the vehicles on the street and uh, those infrastructures put in place. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me.